Chris J. Go ahead, lead that message. All right, peace. Hey, Jay, it's Diamond. I heard you spinning tonight. I got all my girls in town. We are so ready to turn up. Put us on your list. Yo, Jay, it's your brother D. Green, fam. You know I don't go out. This is TGI Fresh or So Shy. If you spinning it, and I know people can't go wrong, find it. Jay, this is T from Posh. I just have to call you and let you know that you killed the party on Saturday at Barley Corn. People were rocking. People were jamming. I have to say, you did your thing, homie. Peace. Talk to you soon. Hey, Jay, it's Red. Trying to see what's up. Trying to find out when and where you're spending that. Talk to you later. Godzilla. What up, baby? Do me a favor. Put me plus E on the list for tonight. Please. Because I cannot go and listen to DJ ADD. Can I go get a whole song? How about a fucking hook? Do me a favor. Stick us on the list. I appreciate you. And, of course, like always, I got your Hennessy in hand. Love you, baby. We are headed to Lumen, Chicago, in uh, what they call the Meatpacking District. And uh, I would say Lumen is like the in crowd in high school. It's the, it's the party that everybody um, wants to be at. Uh, it's, been, it's, it's, it's probably the longest running uh, urban hip hop Thursday night party um, in, in Chicago. It's been going on for years. Every couple of months they do what they call a four by four. But when you DJ with another DJ, it's all about chemistry, timing, working together. They kind of just throw us together on the fly and like, oh, go be dope. You know, so I try to strategize to make whoever I'm rocking with easier. All right, so uh, I know it's your first time doing this. What we, me and Broadway usually do it, and what we usually do, and throwing your input, of course, whenever. We just usually, um, we'll go like, you know, warm up together, record for record, be on some, some real b-boy shit early. And then when people get here, we'll go like every, every other 10 minutes or so. Cause you know, they don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> they don't want to The last time me and Broadway did it, me and Broadway went on like a motherfucking Wu-Tang rampage, right? Motherfucking Joe had to come out and was like, hey, 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 I'm loving what y'all doing, Person. but they not. <laughs> right, right, right. Me and, me and B-Way looked at each other and was like, we about to be bored as fuck, man. Right. It was like, err. <laughs> okay, now, ladies. Oh, yeah, okay, same shit we always do. I started DJing because it was an element of hip hop, not because I could get free drinks of girls and get in the parties for free. Like this was, you know, one of the foundations of this lifestyle that I chose to live. I used to break. Uh, I used to rap. Uh, I, I can't draw, so my tagging was real limited. And then I started DJing, and DJing out of all of them, DJing just stuck. <laughs> Why well, I stuck to using turntables because I want to keep the the element of hip hop true to me. You know, I don't I don't care what anybody else does. Me, I'm a turntable guy. I bought an extra set of turntables just so I can rock with them if I go to a spot and they don't have turntables. I can hook up my own, and I just sound better with turntables. I don't sound good with CDJs. I've always been told, like, if I'm doing my little bounce, if I'm doing my little this right here, you know, I'm, I'm in my zone and I'm having a good time. And if I'm having a good time, then it feeds through the tables and, and energy out there. When you play, you want to give the same performance for 10 people that you would give for 1,000. If there's only 10 people there and I hop on, then I'm not just gonna stand up there and be like, yeah, man, yeah, man. Nobody, nobody said, no. I want those 10 people to go out there and tell three or four people each, like, man, I was at this spot. It was, it was empty, man, but that DJ was incredible. Lumen is pretty much a hit crowd, you know? Like, they want the hits, and they want them back to back to back to back. There are ways to, to sneak records in in there, Number one, you gotta play with confidence. If you're gonna break a new record, break the fucking record. 
Don't pussyfoot around it. Play the record. Play it with confidence. Like, this record that I'm playing is that shit. If you don't know about it, there's something wrong with you. Not that there's something wrong with me for playing it. As an opening DJ, number one, you, you gotta stay in your lane, man. I'm not paid to close. You know, like like Kid Capri says, if, it, if you're not paid to close, or you're not the closing DJ at the time, don't play like a closing DJ. You can still be hot playing B, C, and D records, you know what I'm saying? Leave the A records for the, for the dude that's paid to headline. But sometimes, when it's packed early, that's the hardest shit because they be ready, they be so ready to party. With me, if if you one minute late, all bets are off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I'm scheduled to get off at midnight and I'm spending at 12 on one, I don't give a damn who if you headline or not. Be on time, baby, because I'm gonna go in. Years later, I ain't far from behind. I'm from the old school. Uh, when you would get your ass 